I knew I would meet someone someday. There are times when I didn't think it was going to happen. It was definitely always something I really wanted. A woman to be with, to be my companion. But it seemed very unlikely that anything was going to happen. Everybody wants the one. I did not expect to find it here, of all places. I have full sensation. I just can't walk. With muscular dystrophy, it's a progressive disease, which means things are gonna deteriorate. I was diagnosed at the age of seven. My parents never considered me having a disability. And I didn't either. Just kind of did things a little different. The 80s, oh my God, I lived through it. And all the, all the clothing. Um, I remember there was one time where, like, wearing your socks on the outside of your pants was really the end thing to do. And, you know, my parents would say, you don't want to do that. It accentuates the way you walk. And I'm going, but everybody else is wearing it. And people are people. They see something different, they're going to look. You learn to have a little tougher skin, but that's a lifelong journey for anyone. With me, it was very mild throughout high school and college. I did tend to be very secretive about it. Okay. And just wanted to be normal. I had a key to the elevator in our high school, and the entire stay there, I didn't use it once. I've gone on three different cross-country trips. And I had some really good experiences. I can't even really pinpoint the exact time when I stopped being able to walk. I was living with my parents, and I just stagnated. It took me almost a year to be able to even agree to have staff start coming in and helping me. Can I get out? First one. Pull back or you got it? I got it. Okay. Just right. Just go a little bit lower. Yeah. One more. Better? Just higher. I couldn't believe you were up before me. He came and his room was literally the next room down from mine, on the same unit. As some CNA said, a little bird told me, someone's got a crush on you. I think they said it was Chris, and I was okay. You know, I was clueless.
I started to notice her more and start to develop a crush. And just tried to get any opportunity I could to spend a little bit of time chatting with her. And of course, I, you know, found her very beautiful and... He said to me, he's like, can I talk to you? I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go out? And I'm going, how are we going to do this? I like this one. Oh, yeah. If you look at it, just right. Probably went, sure, okay, why not give it a shot? We just had hours and hours. It started to be six, eight hours a day together. He gave me a memory stick for some music. He found a, a song that said, Good night, Margaret. When we were dating, we would always go outside and sit in the sun and talk. The spot where he proposed was where we had the ceremony. My dad got teary-eyed walking me down the aisle. I didn't. I just kept my eyes glued on Chris. Sometimes it just blows me away that he looks at me and wants me. Every little detail is all the more important. There are times where we were holding hands and all of a sudden, I swear it's like he found a new spot on my wrist. He's a gentleman and you don't find those every day anymore. Um, I guess, I don't know, if you want to do Muffy first. Disconnecting. Twisted. Oh, Chris, before I lose my voice, Good night. I love you. Good night. Good night. Good night. I've had people ask me, do you ever wish you could walk again or not have the disease? If I've got Chris, I take it. I wouldn't go as far as like calling it fate. Ooh, I see sun. Yay. Oh, it's, it's clouds are doing. Ah, yes. There, there we go. go. Much better. Nice. I realized all the suffering in the hospital led up to me meeting her and finding the love of my life and really finding true happiness. I wasn't sure it was ever really going to happen before.
can't imagine us not feeling this way 10 years down the road. I'm always going to want to be able to hold hands, have them touch me. If one of us gets sick, that might change things. But if we're together, wherever that is, it's home. <laughs>